What's up, Creative Faces? L up on set from Creative Sound, Creative University. I got a video for you guys. Yes, indeed, we are talking about Studio 16 and what's new, and specifically, we're hitting on the video feature. Now, the video feature has always been in Studio One, but we couldn't do what I'm about to show you in this video. So, we're just gonna open up a new track, and it's gonna be super basic. So, we're just gonna call this video feature, and as usual you pay attention to the way you save things and then if you hit this down arrow it will give you other options but we're just going to keep it basic for the sake of this video so we're just going to start this right quick and okay sample rate change all right great um in my case i'm going to go ahead and change the change it to so i can see the bars all right so just as simple as this when you find the video that you want to edit you just go ahead and drag and drop like I'm trying to do right now. Boom, there we go. Now there's gonna be this little window that pops up. You can resize it if you want to, or you can slide it onto a additional screen if you have it connected to your system. If you just so want to be extra fancy, right? So it's cool that we could do that. Now, if I play the video. Hello oh, there, great, wonderful people. Ella up here. There is great a mute video. button here. Usually that's probably what will happen to you. If that happens, you can also and that's unmute also, it, right? I'm gonna edit this part out. I promise you I did that on purpose. So yeah, I did this little video um, and I'm gonna show you how you can edit. Now, real quick, you should have some headphones on because I wanna show you guys something because you're, you're gonna be listening to some background noise that we're gonna try to fix, right? Um, but Studio One right now, it's just, it's basic, right? You, it's basic cutting and moving stuff. This is stuff we couldn't do before. Moving your audio files. It was always, when the file comes in, it was wherever it lands. But now we have the option to move our video files around and we can go in and cut. Now, yeah, of course. How did you get the audio? I'm glad you asked. So let's right click here and just say, create audio playback track. Cool. Now we have the audio because what better way to edit your video than to see the, the waveforms because that actually helps us find where we need to make our cuts. Tutorial, I'm showing you guys the new video track and that's also, I'm gonna edit this part out. Right, now here, here's something I've noticed. If you hit the video track by itself and you, you know what I mean? Cause you can so you can totally do that. If you have audio that you using, you probably don't want to do it like this and just hit delete because the audio is not going to follow, right? You probably want to do it like this where you take your marquee tool or your selector tool and select the audio with it and then make your cut, right? But what I find is pretty dang on useful is just switching to your cut tool and then you can cut on the actual video file itself and it will take the audio and like, it's like it's linked together somehow, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go back to this and then boom, voila. And now I can move it in place and let's see how that sounds. So there's also background noise. Perfect, that works. I'm gonna also go ahead and trim the edge and probably give it a fade at the end. That doesn't necessarily mean, well actually don't mean that you're fading out the edge of the video because there is not a way to do that. If you want to do extra editing features, you will need to have editing, you know, video editing software such as Adobe Premiere, Logic Pro, DaVinci Resolve. You know what I mean? If you want to do crossfades and animation and blah 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 but you could definitely add another video in here and it's just straight cut you know what i mean this is huge for me and or like people who like to make tiktok videos or youtube videos this is huge to be able to do these simple things i appreciate these simple things because i understand that studio one a audio doll is not going to edit videos so don't think that you can come in here and do anything fancy this is this is perfect so I, I like it just the way it is now because we have the audio pushed out 
of course, we can go in and do extra things. We can add a compressor on it because this is what you would typically do. So you treat this audio track as a, as a regular audio track, period. Add whatever you need. I'm showing you guys the new video track. And that's also, there's also background noise. And I'm gonna show you how to wipe that out. Really cool stuff here, right? So what I'm doing is boosting the signal. I'm showing you guys the new video track. And that's also, there's also back. Now, if you have headphones on, you will notice that anytime you use a compressor, you boost the signal and that will introduce noise. You know what I mean? So the way you clean this up, guys, this is a great, a great, a great segue to show you guys what I typically use to help me clean audio. So I'm gonna go to my RX plugin and the affiliate link to this will be in the description, by the way. But I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my voice denoiser. And this is the, uh, ooh, that's the wrong one. Let's, uh, let's do that again. Let's go for the 10. You know, I'd rather the 10 because that's what's new. The algorithms are a little bit better on the 10 version. All right, so we have 10. And so the, 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 the move, the technique, should I say here, is taking a spot where the noise is, and I'm gonna just turn on my loop here, and I'm gonna turn off the adaptive mode, and I'm gonna say learn. So we're gonna learn the noise profile here, right? I took a little bit of me um, getting ready to say something. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so, if you listen back to what's going on here, check this out. We're great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the. It already, it already did a great job cleaning out the the background. But if you want to reduce the noise even more, you just hit this reduction level button here, knob, slider, whatever you want to call this lane. Oh my gosh! We're great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. Right, I think it did a great, a, a dang on great job cleaning up the background. Um, so that this is what I use all the time because I understand that mm, there's a lot of situations where you don't have a great mic to use when you do videos. You outside and you 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 know what I mean. It's just a lot going on. Sometimes you you're not able to get the best audio situation. So they're great, wonderful people. Ella up here. You got an air condition in the background, and that's exactly my situation. Clear, here. great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. And I could probably boost this a little more. Oh, let's turn, take off the loop. Clear, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. Right? Clear, great, wonderful people. And then I could do other things too, you know, because we have, you know, a track where we can just put any and everything on there. I'm also put an EQ on here to help, you know, help out a little bit. Clear, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. I'm showing you guys the new video track, and that's also. So I don't want it to take out too much. So I'm gonna just say. Take my curve. We are great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. I'm showing you guys the new video track. And right. that's I'm gonna go back to my RX plugin and. We are great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. I'm showing you guys the new video track. And that's also, there's also background noise. And I'm gonna show you how to. Play a great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video. All right, so yeah, I mean, you just you just have to play with it and get the settings. I probably have to do do this, you know, learn the profile again, um, maybe. Okay, you could probably put two on here, but I'm I'm gonna I'm learn this profile again. Let me see. Okay, that's better. Sometimes you gotta do it twice. 
Hello there, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. I'm showing you guys the new video track, and there's also, there's also background noise, and I'm gonna show you how to wipe that out. Really cool. Hello there, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. You know what I mean? Hello there, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, to wipe. I kind of like how that sounds. You know what I mean with the hello there, great wonderful people. The new dynamic EQ, oh, great. And, and then you probably want to add a de-esser. I'm just, I'm, I'm listening to myself. Hello there, great wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. I'm showing you guys the new video track, and that's also there's also background noise, and I'm gonna show that's you how. That's perfect. To, Hello there, great, wonderful people. Ella up here, creating this video for the sole purpose of this tutorial. Hello. That's great. I like it. So that helps tame some of those harsh S's or syllables that's coming through. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm showing you guys how and, and what you can do here, right? So now I'm ready to bounce down this video and basically you go up here and you say, oh, let me show you this. So if you're adding music, on top of this yeah this is studio one guys you can do whatever you want add music like compose music add all your instruments in here on top whatever it's it's studio one for for those of us we know how studio one works right all right so let's bounce this video down right that is so important this is the most important part how do you do that you go up here to song you say export video right and I promise you, this is all you need to do. So I'm gonna relabel this and say, I don't know, video feature fix, right? Everything else you leave as is. Uh, obviously, you 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 tell it where you wanted to export to. I would just leave that alone, you know what I mean? But if you so desire, there are other options where you could pick from. I used to just leave it as is. The first option all videos that's fine i don't need to change anything because what's going to happen is anything that you have going on will the the audio will replace the video and like it it, it does what it's supposed to do pretty much that's that's it i'm gonna use the, the the codecs here i promise you this is all you need to do and then go ahead and just write the file and then it will export the speeds will vary from computer to computer. And this is what we have here. So if we go ahead and, and play that. Now, I'm not really sure if you can hear that, but I can hear the difference and you can do a comparison. So, you know, listen to that one and the original video that you put in there and you'll definitely hear the difference, right? So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm, I will also have my Discord link at the bottom and any other affiliate links that help you make your decision. Um, the Isotope thing, if you, if you feel like that is a great tool, there's an affiliate link for that. Anyway, Ella up here once again, signing off. Remember, music is art, you're the artist. Paint your pictures, stay creative with the rules. Make sure you subscribe because we are going to continue doing more videos like this.